Hi everybody, it's Sherry with Palette to Palette. I'm here today to um, assemble our teardrop hanging vase. Okay, so um, I put one together and posted the file. You can also get this um, with just the blanks. Um, you just need to let me know that that's what you want. You can paint it and assemble it yourself. Um, if, and I'll send you the pieces. Um, if you've purchased the file, you're going to want to watch this video for assembly instruction. And hopefully I can do it twice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so you get, let me go to the overhead view. These are the pieces um, that we'll cut out. I've already painted them. This is one of the projects that you're going to want to paint first. And, sorry, let me just rearrange some of my stuff over here. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is um, make sure that you can get these two pieces um, just go together like this and they sit in the little cross um, cutouts that are on the bottom. And then this comes right up. Oops. Get in there. <laughs> and this comes right up to the top and then you can glue this, these two pieces um, to here. And so I'm going to hold off on gluing that. We're gonna put this piece in first and make sure it fits. I've cut these pieces on um, Columbia Forest product um, birch, the quarter inch from Home Depot. And if you're using different material, you're probably going to have to cut your, um, you're going to have to adjust your slots if you're, if you're cutting it yourself. If you're getting the blanks from me, then you obviously don't have to adjust anything because I'm cutting it on my laser. Using my material and my file. So we should be all set. Okay. I want to make sure that that sits in there and I want to get it level. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue in each one of these um, little slots on all four of them, okay? So that when I put it in there, it stays. So I'm just gonna put a dab of glue in each one of these little spots. This is just uh, tight bond wood glue. It's what I use with most of my stuff, unless I'm using the whiteboard chalkboard, which I like to do a lot of um, stuff on the whiteboard chalkboard uh, material that I get from Lowe's. Then I use um, the, it's a CA Thick Fast special formula glue that works good on the, the glossy whiteboard. Okay, so I'm going to hold that together and I'm going to put this in there. Oh, and I have painted um, the top and bottom, or front and back, of these pieces. You're going to want to do that on these ones. Get this in here level. The only one that you won't see front and back of is, is um, the circle that goes in here on top of that. So. You just gotta play with it a little bit until it looks looks level to you. And that I think still a little bit left off side of there. There we go. There. That looks good to me. So I'm going to keep that. I'm gonna put a little bit of wood glue on the back of this and put that on top of this and just let it dry on there. I'm just going to center it right in the middle. Just make sure it's down tight. Um, clothespins work great for two layers of this material. So I'm just going to stick two clothespins in there to hold that still because I'm going to be moving around the top a little bit. <laughs> All right. Now, 
what I did um, on the first one was I put two of these through the solid one. So, yeah, I was thinking that I needed those open for, for the, um, the circles, but I don't. So I'm just going to put a little dab of glue there. And then I'm going to do it on the other side as well. And then I'm just going to hold it together for, for a minute or two. Now, if you're impatient and you don't want to hold it together, you could always take a rubber band and put a rubber band around it. And that should be enough tension to um, hold these two together so that you can continue on, but I'm just going to hold it for a minute. <laughs> and I'll try to actually bring this up and show you what I did on this side while I'm holding it. I'm going to, oh, you can see it from here. So I put the, these two rings um, through the solid piece and then I glued them to the sides of the split piece. Okay, right at the top. So the solid piece is this one because I've glued this one and this one. So I'm going to spread that open a little bit and put that through there. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so these are both through there now. And now I'm going to glue them to this piece up here with that slit kind of just over at the side a little bit. I don't know if you can, where's the slit? Okay, see the slit is right here. And we're just going to put it at the side so that it doesn't come through when you're hanging something on it. I don't know if you can see how I did it on this one. See the slits are not um, where the, the frame of the vase can come through. So I'm going to try to do this all at once. <laughs> We're going to, well, that didn't glue together yet. So maybe on this one, I'm going to use my other glue because it dries faster. For the sake of the video, you don't want to watch me glue for an hour, right? So I'm going to use my um, CA Thick Stick Fast glue on here. And we'll try to get that glued up faster. It's a it's a super glue, but it's um, it's a really good super glue, <laughs> and it's a really expensive super glue. I don't know if I wiped enough of the wood glue off, um, but this little bottle of super glue is sixteen dollars. That and that was cheap because there were some places that were selling it for nineteen and twenty four, and <laughs> I think I even saw it for thirty two, but. See, it's almost glued already. <clears throat> it's almost dry already. Give it a few more seconds. And I guess I'll use that on these rings too because it dries faster for video purposes. That'll work out great. And I'm sure that that's dry enough. I can take those off now too. Okay. So now I'm going to bring these rings up and the slit in the ring I'm not going to um, put near the, the frame of the thing. I'm going to offset them. So one's going to be going to the right, one's going to be going to the left. Um, I don't know if you can see that in here or not. So I've got one 
that way and then the other one the other way. So I'm going to glue these to, to this piece. And then we're going to put the other ring on and, and that's it. So I'm going to put a spot of glue right there and right there and put this up here. Let that one dry for a second and then I will flip it over and do the other one. These are really cute when you throw some greenery on them. You can hang them from a hook or a chain. Um, you put some greenery in there in the bottom of it like I did this one and then put um, a candle or a little potted flower down there. Okay, so I'm going to bring this one over and glue it up there too. A little bit of glue right there, a little bit right there. Make sure those are being glued. Centered. Okay. Hold that down. You don't need glue for the last one. So once it's glued down, you can just take the, um, the final ring and put it through both of those. So you're just going to take it and put that up there for a second. Just bend it a little bit and get it through. I'm trying to keep it in camera view <laughs> and it's moving. <sighs> okay, I got it through both. And so then when you hang it, obviously you don't hang it where the where the hook is or where the hole is. Um, and you just hang it from there. And that's the assembly of that one. Here's the other one that I did with the greenery in it. Done the same way. Let's go back to front view. There we go, one with greenery, one without. Aren't they cute? I'm, I'm happy that I did this because now I have two. I have a matching set. I painted them kind of in an, an off-white, my, my cream color that I love. And um, now I have a space for them because there's two and I have the pair. <laughs> okay, follow along. Watch for more tutorials. See you later. Bye.